Hi, members of the Monterey Ward. With everything that's happened this week, I wanted to share a video and communicate with you and um, share some of the challenges as well as some of the wonderful things uh, we've seen in the ward this week, as well as uh, talk about the sacrament and other things. So I'm going to share my screen with you. And <clears throat> so we're going to be talking about COVID-19, but also it's March 22nd, Sunday. Um, we'll talk about the sacraments. We're going to talk about emergency prep and the earthquake that happened, uh, communication and calling. So we'll just take a few minutes here uh, to talk about some, some important things. So um, first of all, um, the sacraments. Um, so um, this is the first time I remember um, ever have not having um, actual sacrament meeting or full church. Um, I'm almost 50 years old, and uh, it's, it's quite different not actually having a sacrament meeting. So uh, I know, like uh, probably many of you, I've come to take that for granted, that we would just have church and sacrament meeting every week and be able to, to go participate in that. So with that, um, there's a lot, of, uh, a lot of you who have had questions and maybe aren't sure of proper procedure, uh, just because we, we've never had to do the sacrament um, or church at home before. So what's pr proper procedure and how should it work and so forth. So um, I'm sharing with you information we've received um, from the First Presidency, uh, as well as from our stake and from the handbook. So we'll share that here with you today. So um, also any questions that you have, feel free later on to, to ask me uh, any of those questions. So. Um, or any member of the bishopric, or the eldest corn president, or release study president. Um, as the Lord said in Doctrine and Covenants 132.18, my house is a house of order. So especially with the sacrament, here's um, some things from the handbook about the sacrament. Um, so the bishop holds the key, priesthood keys for administering the sacrament in the ward. All who participate in preparing, blessing, and passing the sacrament must receive approval from him or someone under his direction. If members of his ward are unable to partake of the sacrament because they are confined to a home, care center, or hospital, the bishop may authorize priesthood leaders to administer the sacrament to them. So from the first presidency, they sent out a message saying that due to coronavirus or COVID-19, um, that <clears throat> they're temporarily suspending sacrament meetings. So, but they would like um, us as bishops to provide, be able to provide the sacrament at least once a month, and at most once a week to members of our ward. That may change as, as if there are more restrictions due to health. Um, it might be closer to the once a month. But right now, at this point, we're doing our best to provide the sacrament for everybody who would like to participate at least uh, once a week. Um, so there are no official sacrament meetings right now, since there is there is no presiding authority that can be in every single home. Um, <clears throat> normally in a sacrament meeting, the, the bishop presides, unless a member of the state presidency is there, and then they preside. So there's no official sacrament meetings um, right now. Um, there is no sacrament meeting, but there is church at home. And so we can partake of the sacraments and then have lessons with our families. One of the great things I love about home, uh, home church that we've been authorized to do by the First Presidency is we get to choose your time. So we're starting ours at 10 a.m. Um, ideas. Um, so here was an email that was sent from the church this morning. It's Sunday, March 22nd. So you can check your email for um, the, this information and links. They sent here ideas for home church. They said that have been done around the, around the world. We can study scriptures. Um, music. There's music.churchofjesuschrist.org or sacred music, uh, sacred music app. Come follow me. So this morning for our less for our church, for example, we did Come Follow Me, the primary children version, since Andrew is in primary, um, the first hour after the sacrament. And then we, our second hour, we, um, we studied the uh, first vision to prepare for general conference. Uh, there's also church magazines. 
sabbath.churchofjesuschrist.org, um, gospel living app for Android and iOS. It's a new wonderful app that's been out and updated within the last few months. Uh, Latter-day Saints channel, um, life help, that's in the app, and also check the email for links there, and a special message for unsettling times, that could be a really good one there. So um, we'll go ahead and take a look at those ideas for home church. So the sacrament meeting, um, according to the handbook, the, as mentioned before, the bishop um, is authorized, give, gives authorization to bless and pass. Now, um, to prepare worthy teachers, priests, or Methodic priesthood holders can prepare the sacrament. So it's actually put it uh, on, on little, you know, cups or you know, cups, and put the bread on the plates. And uh, to bless worthy priests or Melchizedek priesthood holders can bless the sacrament. And to pass worthy deacons, teachers, priests, or Melchizedek priesthood holders can pass. And only these authorized priesthood holders can bless, prepare, or pass. Um, any others um, should not do that. It should be done in the proper order of things. Um, here's some other key points. Um, be sure and dress in Sunday best when you're uh, preparing or participating in the sacraments. Um, cover the bread and water, uh, preferably with a white cloth and it's iron, make it look nice. And that represents the Savior in the tomb, the, the cloth over the bread and water. Then you uncover each one at a time, first the bread, and you bless it and pass it, and then the, and then the water. Um, make sure the priesthood holder actually does, breaks the bread. There's a, a significance of the breaking of bread, which represents Jesus as he, his body was broken um, on the cross. And the atonement that he died for us. So the priesthood holder should break the bread. Um, sacrament prayers. Um, they're found in Doctrine and Covenants 20, verse 77 and 79. Um, and if you use verse 79 for the water, make sure you substitute uh, the word water for wine. It's also found in the Gospel Library app if you go to Jesus Christ and Sacrament Prayers. You can find the sacrament prayers there. Now, what if there's a single sister or a family who does not have a worthy priesthood brother to hold, to pass the sacraments in the home? So the bishop uh, can delegate keys of the sacrament and the ward for a specific time or purpose. And so um, at this time, as the bishop, I've, I've met with and delegated to the elders form president to help coordinate the sacrament through ministering brothers and uh, to go to houses, uh, members' houses. Um, and sometimes if ministry brothers can't make it, then the elders from President will, uh, President Davis will help coordinate that. A um, couple of key things, make sure ministering brothers, if you're going, you're healthy. And also the family you're going to, uh, make sure you can double check, make sure they're healthy. If anybody does have coronavirus, be sure and let anybody know. Um, only go to one, so you should go to their home, go to one family uh, at a time. Remember, um, we're reducing to reduce health risks. There have been advisories to not be with more than uh, 10 people. So just go to one, at, one home at a time and uh, give them the, the sacraments and then go to the next home if you have multiple that you need to, um, to go give them the sacrament. Um, and again, remember, just avoid sacrament meetings. The, the goal is not a sacrament meeting. It's just a, just a family, just a small family um, gathering, just your immediate you know, family, or keep it under 10 people, um, just a family church, and not an official sacrament meeting. Uh, ministering brothers should be sure and schedule ahead. Um, the family um, that you're visiting should provide the bread and water. And before you do that, you can put it on water and put uh, in cups, put the bread on a plate. Uh, be sure and wash your hands for 20 seconds before you officiate in the sacraments. Uh, the bread should be broken um, by the priesthood holder officiating, as we talked before. And then after you're, uh, you're done, be sure and report back to your priesthood leader. So to President Davis. 
that you've had the chance to give them the sacraments. Um, now, what if nobody comes to your home? What if you haven't had the opportunity to partake of the sacraments? Um, get with President Davis, our elder school president. There's his phone number or President Hicks, the Relief Study president. Let them know. Um, you can pause this uh, video if you need to, to let them know. Um, then they will coordinate together. Um, and then President Davis can make sure that they're taken care of by a ministering brother um, or uh, a, another priesthood holder if the ministering brother is not available. Um, now, the sacraments, this is only, um, only for an authorized period of time. So you're, you are authorized to do this in your home only during this time. So after this time ends, then we go back to the, our normal process of the sacrament of the church. So, um, so normal, um, we'll go back to normal. Normal is that only special cases, special cases approved by the bishop can have this done, a sacrament done at their home for sickness or other type of issues. So if you have any questions, please let us know. Any member of the bishopric or um, elders quorum president or university society president, we can help you with that. Um, one family, for example, messaged me uh, about someone else who needed it, um, which was the proper way to do it. They weren't sure what, what to do. And so um, I said, great, why don't you go ahead and take that to the family? Um, and that's how it should be, according to the handbook, the proper proper order of things. Let's now take a minute and talk about the earthquake that happened. We've had quite an eventful week, the earthquake that happened this week. Um, so I, I have to admit at 7.09 a.m. Wednesday morning, I was shaken uh, awake. Melanie and I were shaken awake. And uh, um, uh, for a few minutes, some uh, fear went through my bones, as many of you may have felt. And uh, I thought, wow, what, what next? Um, maybe this is the end. <laughs> and uh, some, some fear was there. And uh, it took a, a bit of time for me to remember faith and remember that Heavenly Father is in charge. And he knows what's going on. And he knows even when a sparrow falls. And he is completely aware of us. Um, now, it's good to be um, aware of things in the news and good to be aware of things that are happening. Just keep in mind, though, that many people prey on fear. There's been a lot of interesting videos come out where people prey on fear or have a lot of interesting theories. Just be careful with those and remember faith. Um, there's a new section on churchofjesuschrist.org. It's Peace in Christ. Also, if you go to today's email and look at it, there's a, a link you know, that came from the church, a link um, about faith or peace, peace and faith in these troubled times. So the earthquake also on with emergency uh, preparation. Um, the the berries, our emergency preparation coordinators, they did a, did a fantastic job this week helping out. Also President Davis and President Hicks, Elders and Relief Society president did a fantastic job. Um, we had a Google Doc that, that uh, members went and and did and uh, they filled it out if they were safe and so forth. And we had 109 out of 138 families, uh, which we felt uh, very happy about. Although there were some that were missed, um, we hope in the future that uh, we can all look and reach out to our neighbors, anybody who has missed, to make sure everybody is counted for. And not even just members of our church, but uh, anybody in our neighborhoods, we can reach out and put them on that doc. If this happens again, we have another uh, crisis like this. We ask everybody to go immediately. Well, uh, first make sure your family is taken care of, but then let us know. So go to bit.ly slash Monterey dash status. That's the same doc we used before and we'll update it so that it will be ready for the next potential crisis. Now, if a crisis happens and we don't have internet connection or any things like that, then, um, we're going to be working with the berries to create block captains who can go and check on their neighbors to make sure everyone, everybody is safe. So again, if that happens after everybody's safe, jump on to uh, this bit.ly bit monterey dash status. So just watch for that. We'll send out emails and so forth so that we can know very quickly if everyone is safe. 
uh, be sure and connect with uh, each other. So um, Satan uh, thrives on isolation, making us feel like we're alone. Take time to message your neighbors, and, um, your members and neighbors. Um, you can do text, text or video chat. There's the LDS Living app, so you can connect in the circles there um, and make sure your kids' cell numbers are updated in member tools so that they can show up in the circles and be uh, connect there with the church's social media. Callings, um, this morning we met virtually. Um, I met with uh, the bishopric, also met with Ward Council at 1 p.m. and it was inspiring to see what is being done out there. There's some uh, virtual activities for the youth, especially the young women have, are having a wonderful activity this week. Uh, the young men are gonna be, next week, we're gonna be working on different activities starting for the for young men virtually. Um, if any, you have any, any of you have any needs, um, go check with President Hicks, uh, President Davis, let them know, text them. Now, even just simple needs, flour, cinnamon, toilet paper, any things like that. We'll then make a Google Doc and we can all potentially share in our work. If there's any severe lockdown and you can't leave your home, let them know any needs that you have if you can't leave due to health reasons or otherwise. Um, peace, it's amazing to see what's being done um, as the bishop and take a few minutes to do something for someone else so you can bless their lives. I love you all. You are amazing. You're my brothers and sisters. Um, I love you and uh, I, I pray for you every day and um thank you and um, god is in charge and he loves us and he watches over us thank you